Hey guys, we are live, I think. Welcome to The Cool Factor, this is Mike. Now, this is a bit of a different episode. Welcome chat, by the way. This is a shorter stream. I'm trying to find more time to actually cover things I really enjoy during the week. This week was kind of crazy, so I was trying to find time to actually, um, you know, cover all the new LEGO sets in a desirable way that you can either connect with me on a live stream or watch after. So what we're gonna do, welcome chat by the way, I know this is right now live, but this episode will live afterwards on my channel as sort of like a reference to all the new sets we're gonna be talking about today. So expect about a 30-40 minute um, uh, live stream, I'm not gonna really look at the chat a lot of the times because I'm gonna be focusing on the sets, but in the last few minutes, like 10-15 minutes at the end, I'm gonna try to um, connect with you guys on the chat, say my highs, say everything that I want to say, we can discuss a bit. But for now, I really want to keep it short and, uh, you know, fast and quick and really nice coverage of uh, what we had so far. There's a lot of stuff. Uh, Lego Technique, by the way, this is how it looks like actually. Boom! Lego Cool Factor News. Awesome. Uh, so, if we're gonna go through Lego Technique that was unveiled uh, lately. We're gonna go through, through the Star Wars promo made the fourth set. Um, Creator City Ninja Go Friends Dots. And we're gonna mention Monkey Kid, but I can't really show the pictures because it's not official yet. All right, so first things first, I really want to talk about this Lego Technic uh, Ducati Panigale, if you will. Uh, it's basically a Lego Technic Panigale that is a really, really amazing set. Um, let me see how many. Yep, it was revealed just uh, lately. 42107 Lego Technic Ducati Panigale V4R, 646 pieces. And uh, pricing of 69.99, 59.99 euro and 54.99 pounds. Now I'm not a big fan of, uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of, of, of bikes. In general, I do not ride bikes, but I think the Technic um, usually are really good looking. They are just like solid overall. This one I think looks, you know, as one of the fastest bikes. Um, and it has kind of a weird look to it because I'm not very familiar with those bikes. It looks like halfway finished. You can see right here that it's sort of a halfway finished uh, set. I think some, some people were saying that it's not, it doesn't really have the back section to it. it it's sort of like, a, like somebody like opened this back in the garage and never went back to it and just kept it there before even finishing the engine or something like that. But I think it's still a nice set for all you bike lovers and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be getting this, but uh, this set is worth acknowledging. Technic has a really good line of sets. Uh, that had that BMW before, but also Creator had the Harley, um, a lot of good stuff. So this one is coming, I think, pretty soon, actually. This one should be coming, um, let's see if there is information on that yet. June 1st. This is June 1st launch, basically. So yeah, very cool set. Um, yeah, that was the technique. The Dodge Charger was also announced before, but I, I covered that in another video, so you can take a look on my channel. I did a really comprehensive, like, deep look into what the Dom's Fast and Furious Dodge Charger will offer. Cool! How you guys like the news? Is, is it cool? It's, it's my first try with such format, um, but we're gonna uh, talk a bit about all the new stuff later on. All right, moving on. Star Wars made the fourth promo. Oh my goodness gracious, where is it? I really wanna, like, take a closer look. Okay, so there was a bit of a discussion as to, uh, as to you know, this set basically um, made the fourth promo. Uh, right now it's gonna be involving a Death Star 2 trench run. It's not like a trench run, but Death Star 2 basically, um, you know, coverage. Sort of, it's basically totally in connection with the upcoming UCS A-Wing. As you can see, uh, let me see if I have a better shot. There you go, there's a better shot. Basically it involves the A-Wing and the TIE Interceptor. It has some sort of a Death Star two um, structures to it. I like the Griblink, I like uh, how it looks like. A lot of people are hating on it because they, uh, you know, people, I think, enjoy the minifigures more than this. Um, but this was a trend, it's the third in the series set of the May the 4th promo, that is a mini build. Uh, I don't know if that is a sticker or not. Some people were seeing that there is an edge to it, so it might be a sticker, not even a printed piece. If that is true, that means we won't have an exclusive piece in this set, just the sticker will be exclusive. So that should be easy to recreate and obviously that A-Wing is basically uh, in connection to the upcoming UCS A-Wing. That promo will be actually active when the UCS A-Wing will be um, actually available starting May the 1st as well. 
So I like it. I, I, I would love to see the comeback of the minifigures, but I think the last Stormtrooper minifigure that was a sort of a May the 4th exclusive was not, um, you know, received very well by the community. And I think that's why Lego said, oh, it's not really that popular. So we're not going to do another Darth Raven, you know, we're just going to go with the mini builds. That's it. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Welcome, guys. Thank you. I'm going to be back in the chat in a second. I just want to try this format when I cover the news and we, then we can talk after. I hope you kind of um, like the quality of what I'm trying to achieve here. I'm not sure even the shot is good, but we're trying, we're trying, I'm trying my best. And I really love this format because I can at least talk to you and not spend a lot of the time on editing, which is always craziest. All right, I got my list here, Lego Creator. This one is exciting. Let's see what's up with Lego Creator. Oh my goodness gracious. So first of all, just like a, a little, um, Thing that those sets like were unveiled, but not all the websites reported on them. Basically, what happened is that um, only the lot, the small pictures are available. So they're not technically leaks. A lot of people reported on them, and I think this should be fine. In any case, a lot of you know about this, but we are getting at least we know about three creator sets upcoming. This one being an absolute blast to witness. The pirate ship with brick build sails. I think we talked about this on the live stream beforehand, but this one is pretty amazing. Um, let's let's see, maybe let's start with the other ones, like Lunar Exploration Rover 31107. So this one is, a, all of these are, by the way, three in one builds. Um, and the Rover is really in connection with that uh, latest NASA line from Lego. Um, I like it, I like the, it kind of reminds me of the Martian movie somewhat. There is the Alien, which is awesome build, something maybe from the Lego movie 2 Aliens. Remember those guys? Those are kind of weird. Um, and uh, the two other builds are some sort of a space base with another type of alien. I'm sorry, those pictures are kind of blurry, so they're not the best. And also, if you see, there, there is a spaceship sort of build, which actually reminds me of something from Ballastra Galactica. And I like this robot as well. Um, really cool one. So I think this one's gonna sell pretty... Oh, there's another picture of that alien looking thingy. <laughs> it's really nice, actually. By the way, shout out to BrickFan.com for covering those sets. I'm gonna be referring a lot of the websites after the stream in the links below. So if you miss the stream, there is a VOD right now, probably you're watching a VOD. It's not live if you're watching after, but the links should be updated in the description below once I finish the stream. Okay, and then one more cool shot with what this set offers. I like this one. The next one is the Family Vacation Caravan. And it, this one reminds me sort of of the previous caravan that was like a sort of like a camper vehicle. But I like these sets there, as I worked in the Lego store back in the day, they were selling like crazy. They were really, really good in that matter. Um, the car, a really cool shape with the blue color. My favorite is blue, so there you go. <laughs> and the camping family. I wonder if that's the same camping family that we've been seeing in the previous sets. There was sort of a story from a kid growing up to be an adult in one of the sets. That was kind of crazy, but there is a small... Uh, oh, is, is that a skunk? I think that is a skunk. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that in the first place. I think we're getting sort of a skunk. There's like a little, little fart cloud next to it, little like sprinkle skunk sprinkle cloud. Oh my goodness gracious. Chat is crazy right now. <laughs> um, we got the, the, uh, the camping cooker, um, the fishing stage, and a really cool, good looking um, camper van. But also this one rebuilds to a lighthouse. I think we just had a lighthouse set, so nothing too crazy. An actual camper van with, a, with an upper stage. Um, yeah, this is really blurry, but you guys can tell what it is. And I think this one's gonna be super popular given uh, how the sets actually look like. There's the back. A better look on that camper van. I think like from all three, this one would be my favorite, that build here. Lighthouse, not so much, but overall the two uh, variation sets with the cars are actually super good. So I like this one. Uh, yeah, all the accessories. There's a sort of a canoe, I think. Yeah, and a, and a pine tree as well. There you go. Cool. And this one I think is the most, the most, the most uh, sought after after the amazing Barracuda Bay. By the way, Barracuda Bay arrived today, who, who is watching right now as of this recording, as of this live stream. Uh, it's, arriving, it's arrived today, I still didn't open the box, but uh, at least the set is with me. It was a bit delayed, it's here. But LEGO is giving some love to the pirates, finally. The Barracuda Bay is an amazing set, I think a contender for the set of the year, uh, for sure. Um, but this one will sell like hotcakes as well. It's a massive set, I'm not sure if, they, if he says how many pieces these are, but this one I think is gonna be a hundred dollars minimum. Uh, looking at the um, at the beautiful brick built sails, which in its own, it's gonna be a lot of pieces. 
Um, and then we have the school island and sort of a pirate hideout. So something that maybe um, many of you complained that the Barracuda Bay is like a, either a ship or a massive island, but there is a lot of process to rebuild those two. I think this set would be a, a great complementary set to the Barracuda Bay. If you don't choose for some reason, if you do not choose to go with the pirate ship, you can actually build the school island and have it that way. Really cool set, super excited. I think we talked about this in the previous stream, but there you go. And there's a brick built shark as well. By the way, so on that, okay, there's a closer look there. Actually, the hideout has some some stuff in the back to it. Beautiful looking ship, as you can see from the back. Um, a lot of functions and um, this, all of these, all, all of the three builds are super, super, super good. All right, and uh, I think that's it for the creator. Yeah, so brickfan.com if you want to see all those pictures close up. And then we have another news bit, which is... Uh, Lego City. Yes, Lego City. Let's take a look at that. By the way, also this uh, set, this um, information is also coming not only from um, the brickfan.com, but website uh, jbnet.pt, a Portugal store, um, was unveiling them um, during, um, during the initial stages of that unveiling. And you can check this, that, that in the links below after the stream. All right, Lego City. Let's see if I have it open here. I should. Okay, Lego City. Oh my God, so many, so many stuff. Okay, Lego City. Let's take a look. Lego City, everybody. How are you guys doing in the chat? I'm gonna be right back with you in the last few minutes. Um, okay, yeah, these are, so we have a comeback uh, of the Subnautica team, if you will. Um, but definitely uh, also the highlight of this wave is the comeback of uh, airplane stuff. So we have Air Race 60260. My kids are just right now crazy. So thank for them for the, if there is any sound in the background. That's my just kids going crazy because daddy is trying to record and they don't allow me to. Um, Air Race 60260 with the two helicopters and a plane and those actually fly. Those pieces were first initially uh, available in I think the last wave of city sets. Pretty amazing. Um, and they actually can fly, sort of like uh, the Ninja Ninjago Flyers, if you will, the same type of technology. Um, and then, yeah, you can see how, how the kids are playing with them. Um, they're really good in that matter. I think they're gonna fly quite far. Oh, there you go, a good shot of the set. I like that plane, actually, it's sort of like a Red Bull racing plane, uh, if you will. And then the Central Airport, but, you know, I was stoked to see the Central Airport as a name of the set. I really like the airports, but this one is four plus. So it's a tiny uh, look. You can see the plane is looking tiny. Set number seven, six, six zero two six one. Just a tiny set. A lot of minifigures actually, so that's good. But that's a four plus set, so it's super easy um, to build. Very easy, very generic. So nothing too crazy for a adult like me. And uh, thank you for my kiddos for being so loud. Passenger plane. That's one of my favorite. Six zero two six two, with a big plane that can actually serve as a cargo plane as well, um, and this one also has a bunch of minifigures, a pretty decent, well, okay, the airport is disappointing, but the plane is sold. I think most of the pieces will go to the plane, and there is sort of a minifigure of Poppy Star, okay, so it's a branded kind of a city set. Um, yeah, a car, yeah, car is generic. Um, let's see, the terminal is super small. Everybody's just gonna get it for the plane. I think that piece in the front might be a bit updated, but I'm not sure. So there is, yeah, there is a business class. You can see a bit in a business class economy and that guy I think there's a bathroom in the plane as well so that's pretty funny okay so it has sections actually I like this one I think the previous plane was solid oh it comes with a teal brick separator as well so that, that's pretty cool that's pretty cool pretty cool and then we are moving to the ocean explorers this uh, theme is actually in uh, support for national geographic explorers you can see that this is a collaboration that lego is making uh, love the shark the hammerhead shark uh, this is a four plus set. The first one is the Ocean Explorers Mini Submarine. Really good looking set. Uh, I mean, not really, really good looking, but a fun addition to uh, the smallest for kids theme that can get interested with the uh, Ocean Exploration lineup. Learn to build easy, just basically what? One, two, four pieces and that's it. So that's pretty funny. Yeah, that shark is amazing. I really love it quite a bit. Um, and then we have the Ocean Explorers Exploration Submarine 60264. This one reminds me of the old um, Aquazone sets, but yeah, looks like something that a National Geographic Exploration team would use Pro for proper propellers, um, manipulators, 
really cool mold for that. Um, how do you call them? The monster fish, um, the angler fish. I think that's what the name is. Angler fish. That's like the super deep sea fish. I think this one might be actually glowing in the dark because as you can see, it sort of has a has a glow on the picture. So really cool mold for that. I'm super excited for this one. Jessica is, I think those are might be the names of actual National Geographic explorers, which would be cool because again, as you can see, this set is sort of sponsored with that. Um, yeah, and there's a, a mini drone to explore the ocean floor as well. So good stuff with that fish, especially. Uh, you can see the back shot. Oh, it, there's even a picture. I think there is a picture of the sub or just a rendering, like an artist uh, depiction of how a deep sea exploration looks like really really nice so this one will be popular for sure you can see the fish is actually launching from the undersea cave <laughs> that's pretty funny really good set this one's gonna fly this this one's really good and we have a bigger one the ocean explorers exploration base okay so this one is sort of like that space iss sort of city thing that was unveiled some time ago uh, same same design choice like modular uh, sub base like undersea submerged base you can actually get all these modules out of the base and um, use them as sort of subs separately um, also has a bigger robot the same hammerhead shark um, some old bike on the seafloor don't throw bikes on the seafloor please don't do that a manta ray with a printing on it um, and three and there is a cool piece for that ventilator on top let's see if we have better pictures yeah you can see each module uh, can disconnect, so actually I think those are no subs, but this one is actual sub, so you have a sort of a hidden vehicle inside the set. Um, and yeah, that, that manta ray is really has some cool prints, you can see some spots here, but I'm not sure if you can properly see it. And then, yeah, the shot of the set, there we go. And I think this one's my favorite, um, 60266 Explorer's Research Boat. And I gotta tell you, I love these long hulls, like, that can actually float. I, as a kid, I used to have the fire ship uh, from city, like an old city wa uh, wave. And this one is, I think, even bigger, sort of a container ship, but it's, it's used as an exploration ship. So it has a, a dock for the helicopter, I believe. Act actually not. It's, it's dock for all the like boats and stuff, helicopter landing pad and all the uh, uh, undersea elements to it with a shipwreck, uh, the same manta ray and a new type of shark. I think it's a great white shark mold uh, that we never seen before it has bigger jaw dual printing or dual molding even so you can see some white elements in the front of the jaw um, so different type of fin and different shape overall so we're getting uh, at least two different new molds for the big shark fish or and the printed manta ray which is amazing okay yeah great stuff look at that guys look at that this one is pretty darn awesome I love the pictures on the box too. Good wave. I'm not sure what people hate on it. A lot of people are complaining that this wave is not very original. I think, uh, given like compared to the Coast Guard of City, I think this one is really. Look at. I mean, look at it. It's looking great. It's looking really good. It's looking really good. Okay, moving on. How are you guys doing? Chat. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna be right with you. We got. Uh, I'm trying to keep it under 30 minutes of a stream. Let's see if I can do it as a test run, basically. So I'm, I never done this before in that way. Okay, Ninja Go. How do I say it? Ninja Go or Ninja Go? Go. People keep keep complaining how how I say things uh, in the Ninja Go wave. Okay, let's see if I have. Uh, let's see. One more click, click, click. Like clicking through. I have so many tabs open right now. Okay, I think this one should be good. Yeah, a few Ninja Go sets were unveiled, um, and that is also quite exciting. I gotta say. So first of all, let's see. Um, yeah, 2020 sets. This one is looking dope, but we're gonna get into the, this one in a second. So we get uh, a burst Lloyd. So we have sort of a new type. I think that's the first one to be unveiled. Um, it's called the, the burst, uh, which is, I think it's a replacement for the spinners, honestly. I think it's, a, it's another like mini set for like $10 probably that's gonna be replacing the spinners in a way. A burst, which is like it blows up or opens up in a way. I'm not sure. The prints actually remind me of um, those energy ninjas from back in the day, which is pretty cool actually. Um, set number seven zero six eight seven. Burst Lloyd. I there's I don't I can't tell what function that is, but I think it's sort of like an egg. The poop pops up, and actually does things. Okay. The next we have the Stormfighter Battle four plus set. I'm guessing a twenty or fifteen dollar set. Uh, seems like we have um, uh, Kai, uh, Jay, 
and uh, one of the serpentine. There we go. So small jet and a sort of a temple plus a um, lizard vehicle, if you will. Another Destiny's Bounty, of course. There has to be a Destiny's Bounty. 71705. And... I'm not sure, I mean, I'm a super big fan of Destiny's Bounties, like the bigger ones. This one's interesting because it has a dragon head. Um, it's basically a comeback to the, um, yeah, the old, because it's a legacy line, so it's a comeback to one of the first seasons. Um, yeah, a lot of minifigures, as you can see. I think there is small Garmadon even, so there you go. And a really cool, uh, sort of like a dragon-looking um, sail. And it looks like a big set. I'm guessing it's gonna be about 700 maybe pieces, maybe 800 pieces. I'm just gonna be guessing that this is this is the thing questions in the chat i'm gonna be answering after i finish covering the set so stay tuned all right really nice destiny's bounty and this one is super cool actually um journey to the school of dungeons 71717 love the set number by the way 71717 <laughs> um look at that man and the, the box art is also different it's it's not a legacy wave it's not i think so that's one of the first um 2020 sets so different armors different um shields um completely new theme if you will um sort of a function of that burst mode burst mode i'm not sure there's some sort of thing on the on the box um yeah rocky sort of like a lord of the rings style lava i don't know whatever that other thing is it's an underground cave or sort of a um dungeon if you will. Yeah, we're gonna have to take a closer look once they really get back with a lot of better quality pictures. Firestone Mech, and this is the dopest of the dopest of the dopest of the dopest of the dopest. Look at this thing. Holy guacamole. Uh, it's sort of like uh, that, uh, that tit um, uh, Titan Mech I think we just had in the last wave uh, or the previous wave, but man, these mechs are getting better and better. Sort of like a samurai, Helmet and a sword and ah, good stuff, really good stuff. You can see the new uh, shields, the new weapons, the new uh, armor pieces. Oh my goodness, this one is dope. I, I think uh, like again, I'm guessing like a thousand pieces set or so. It's so 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 cool. All right, all right. Are you guys holding up there? Okay, we got some few more things to cover. Um, friends, dots, and monkey kid. But maybe let's start with the monkey kid. I cannot show the pictures. Uh, they were leaked. I've seen them. I can only tell you by the description. These sets will knock everything out of the park. They like a hidden side had uh, a baby with um, Ninja Go, sort of. It's 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 amazing. Like there's so so much colorful. There's like a massive sets. They're gonna be expensive, unfortunately. But it reminds me of the very good Lego Ninja Go movie wave. I think that wave was solid and and really exciting. And this is sort of the thing that Monkey Kid will be offering. But the pictures were leaked. Um, Lego were taking down, uh, they were taking down all the videos. Um, and now I really cannot show these sets. You can probably find them, but I can't link anything. So just mentioning that there was a leak, um, but we're gonna wait for the official pictures um, first. And there's there's something to wait for, for sure. Like I was I was pleasantly surprised how good these sets are. Okay. Lego Friends, <laughs> there was only one set unveiled actually today uh, with Lego Friends. Um, and is this one. Go see. Okay, perfect. Lego Friends Tiger Hot Air Balloon Jungle Rescue. There we go. Um, well, is it cool? Yeah, I mean, I don't refer to Friends a lot, but my, kid, my girls would love these sets absolutely. So I think this one's cute. Uh, probably one of the many to be revealed for one four two three um with a little uh, waterfall a little um white tiger or white panther um i guess they're rescuing the little kitty do you get two you get actually two of these a little birdie and uh a balloon there you go so very nice set um is that the same one yes that is the same one pretty cool i like it okay i like friends don't judge me i like friends Okay, and the last, I think, the last thing I want to cover today is Lego Dots, which was actually um, announced today um, that I've seen. And let me just see if I can pull this up. There we go. Okay. Perfect, guys. So, Lego Dots, uh, official pictures. Uh, like, I mean, I didn't get any Dots uh, yet, but I think these are solid. So, these are the upcoming sort of like accessory boxes. 
Dots are known for a lot of the prints, uh, unique to the theme, very colorful for the girls. Uh, they should make like dots for boys or something like that. But for now, it's a lot of like pastel, mellow, chill colors. You can see there, um, you know, the, the sets are sort of like a storage boxes. Desk organizer with 405 pieces. Really cool. I think uh, a lot of girls would love to have this on the desk. Uh, you can see it actually holds a lot of pieces. So nothing too crazy, but really nice. Bracelet mega pack for one 913 with 300 pieces. A um, lot of um, bracelets for all your pack of friends. There you go. I can see just a good read loving this because I think he really liked the Lego dots that went when he covered. And you can see how many prints you're getting. Hey, yes, question marks, M -A me, hearts, exclamation marks. I think that's where the, the, the power of this theme lies. A creative picture frame, 41914, 398 pieces. Uh, picture frames, picture frames. Yeah, sort of like a friend's expansion, if you will. And jewelry box, 41915, 374 pieces. Just like that. And extra dots. Actually, we're getting like uh, poly bags with dots. Series 2. So extra expansion, so like a, they're making this a series. Okay. 41916, well, 109 pieces with extra BFF, 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 Penguin, BFF, Rocket, Monkey, BFF, whatever that thing is, ET, I don't know. Magic Forest Bracelet. Oh my goodness. Okay. My, okay. My, uh, more bracelets, more bracelets. Power Bracelet. Uh, that's it. Power bracelet and and uh, and a magic forest bracelet. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, of course, other things were unvi unveiled as well, uh, but you guys probably know about them already. A wing is coming very soon, May the first, which is um, I made a video on this, so check out my channel and the charger, dodge charger, dumps charger from um, Fast and Furious. It's also I think it's already actually slightly available because a lot of stores were kind of selling it already. Okay, <laughs> so that's it for today's uh, news, for this week's uh, sets coverage. Uh, I'm trying this format because I'm trying to uh, really, um, you know, take back my editing time, which I don't have some weeks. So I think like Lego news coverage in that way from time to time, not like uh, in a super, uh, you know, consistent fashion will be, will be something that I would be able to do, but we'll see. But maybe, maybe, maybe there's gonna be something out of it that maybe I'm gonna keep it a secret for now. But um, you guys, you guys should find out very soon that I, I have some plans, and and uh, sh you guys should should like the content that is coming. Okay, chat. I'm I, I'm gonna have a few moments before I go to hang out in the chat with you. So thank you forever, forever. Thank you, <laughs> who is joining? Um, Giovanni, Sarah Starbricks, Brick Star Wars Boy, Gabriel Velez, Evergreen Emeralds. Hello, 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 everybody. How are you guys doing? Um, you guys, if you guys have any questions for me before I go in the next, next five minutes, you can shoot them right now. Um, what do you guys think about these sets? What are you guys, um, you know, considering to buy maybe? Um, what are your initial thoughts about these? I like this way of news. Uh, Mike, you're awesome. Thank you. Like, yeah, we're going to try that more. Like, again, I had these notes ready for like two days now, basically with adding new sets and I wanted to edit that today, but I promised myself to make a family um, weekend. So I didn't really edit any videos um, and I hope you guys appreciate <laughs> that I tried at least live stream what I have to say in this like sort of like a good, I guess, good quality uh, of the stream. I got new lights, so I think they look good. I'm not, I should look good at least in those, right? Shout out. Okay, Blake, there is a shout out for you. Um, Harrison Scurry, are you going to be streaming Barracuda Bay? If so, when? Yes, I will be. I have no idea when. Probably not this weekend. Like, this is Saturday. I have. I just received the set before I started, like, streaming today. Um, so, you can expect... I'm gonna announce it, but, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find time this weekend. So, let, I'm gonna let you know. Follow my social media and stuff. Um, you can follow them. Everything's in the links below. Um... Cool. Mike, any news on the DC sets for summer 2020? No, nothing yet. If there are any leaks, I can't really cover them. I didn't see any news of the DC stuff. Like the city and the ocean and Ninjago. I think from me, the strongest one may be Ninjago, but again, the monkey kid that I can't show uh, is, is totally amazing. It's like, I've seen the sets, I was like, what? I've seen just a good video before he took it down. He had to take it down because it was a leak. Uh, he wasn't aware at the time, but um, Lego was taking all those videos down, and uh, these sets are stuff, good stuff, really good stuff. Um, cool, guys, 
Thanks so much for joining. This video is available, will be available after the stream on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this type of news coverage. Uh, stay tuned for more content, for more live streams. Um, there's probably a video with me appearing on a certain channel tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I've got more announcements to make next week on, on the stuff that we're going to be doing. For now, thank you so much uh, for joining. This was like a shorter stream. I tried to keep it uh, brief uh, in like 30 minutes. I think we're done in 30 minutes, which is good. This should, so these are supposed to be streams and also videos that can live on my channel after and that people can actually watch without sitting um, on the stream for like four hours. And I'm, I'm still doing the long streams. I promise you that. Barracuda Bay, once I schedule and find time for the Barracuda Bay, this will be, you can expect like three, four streams for a few hours each, I swear. So that's gonna be that. Okay? Okay. You guys are awesome. Nighty night. Thank you guys for joining today and stay tuned. Uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy. It's news time. Was news time. And I'm gonna keep naming this news time probably, which I really like. Nighty night. Nighty night. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you guys. See you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.